What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know me in the real world, and today I'm bringing you a brand new gameplay. It's a 4v4 scrim on Standoff Search and Destroy. I hope you guys enjoy it. I actually do wind up getting an ace on one point, and the ending is kind of BS. I'd stick around for that. I cut out the first couple rounds because it was the first game of the day, and it was really slow. So, you know, nobody wants to watch a slow gameplay. So, hope you guys enjoy. Right now, you should be seeing our four-man back alley push. We failed pretty miserably. We didn't execute it properly, so you guys can learn from that mistake. But anyway, today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the game modes that are going to be in Call of Duty Ghost, and I'm going to start with the ones that are more commonly known, ones that have been in previous games, so that I don't have to go as in-depth with them. So the first one is Free For All, and that's going to be every man for himself, first to 30 kills, with a 10-minute time limit. Then there will be TDM, or Team Deathmatch, and it's the first to 75 kills within a 10-minute time limit. Next one is Search and Destroy. You will have one life, four rounds to win, and there will be two bomb sites, and you can either plant or defuse depending on which side you're on. Then there's Domination, where there will be three flags, and you control one to gain points. If you control a flag, you get one point per two seconds. So if you have three flags, then you get three points per two seconds, and so on. And it's the first to 200 points, or the highest score within 10 minutes. Then there will be Kill Confirmed, and when you kill somebody in this game mode they drop a dog tag and if you pick it up you your team gets a point and if you don't pick it up and the other team picks it up then they deny you that kill and it's the first to 100 win then the next one is infected this is one from mw3 it should be very similar there should be somebody with a knife and a throwing utensil of some sort a tomahawk or a throwing knife and they run around and try and kill people and when they do they join their team and then they just have a knife and everything and you go and infect everybody else you guys should remember this from mw3 it was a lot of fun to play uh, next two are ones that i've talked about in previous videos so i won't go too in depth with them the first one is the clan versus clan playlist this is going to be the competitive 4v4 mlg rule set setting and it will be teams only it should be replacing the league play this should work out extremely well hopefully um, if it doesn't work out, then we're going to be doing a lot of GBs and PGL, I guess. Um, next one is Squads. This one has several game modes within it, including Survival, and then several different ones with a mix of AI and real players. I did this in depth in another video. This is the one where you can have like a map chosen with a game mode, and you can customize your AI players to defend it for you, and you can gain XP even if you're not playing. Uh, then there are some that have been confirmed that are completely new to this series. So the first one is Search and Rescue, and this is a spin-off of regular Search and Destroy. And you still have one life, four rounds to win, two bomb sites. However, you drop a dog tag when you die. And if your teammates pick up this dog tag, you get to respawn that round. If the enemy picks it up, you won't be able to respawn again that round. So, you know, it's going to promote a lot more aggressive play style it should be dominated by submachine gun players and shotgun players i doubt many ar or snipers will be succeeding in this because the long range kills won't matter because their teammates will just pick up the do the tag and respawn again so we'll have to see how that goes i'm not sure how balanced is going to be next one is cranked this is one that you've probably seen a lot of gameplay of uh because of this is what was highlighted during the multiplayer reveal it's the first to 100 kills after a kill you have 30 seconds to get another one or you blow up and when you get a kill you receive a speed boost a reload speed boost and aiming down spite aiming down sights boost as well so i mean it's like the specialist bonus so th that this is going to be another really fast paced game mode it should be a lot of exciting action going on next one is blitz and this is going to be replacing ctf basically you try and reach the other team's goal slash portal to score and there's a 10 second cooldown and once you reach it you are teleported back to your own team's goal so I'm assuming there will be a respawn delay in this probably between 5 and 8 seconds don't know yet that is just a guess and there will probably be a capture limit as well for public at least I don't know what that is going to be yet so stay tuned for more information on that and then there's going to be this one that is rumored to exist and if it does Definitely expect content on this from me in the first couple weeks since the competitive rule set won't be out. And it will be Survival Extinction. And this is going to be aliens instead of zombies. And it should have a way to end it as well where you can reach a helicopter or you can just do endless rounds. And there, there should be like traps like fire traps, electricity and everything from zombies. So this should be really cool. I'm looking forward to that. I hope it's real. 
Next game mode is Hunted. This one is confirmed to exist, but we don't know what it is. I'm guessing it's going to be something like Hidden or Michael Myers. If you don't know what this is, I would check out C. Nanner's channels. He plays it a lot. It's good content. I'd go there to figure that out. Next game mode is Grind, and this one is confirmed to be in the game, but we don't know what it's going to be yet. There's just no information. I couldn't find anything, so if I find more out, I'll let you guys know. And so, yeah, these game modes seem to be really cool. I'm looking forward to playing them. I will definitely be uploading quite a bit of gameplay the first couple weeks, so look forward to that. So, as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better in the comment section below. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everyone, peace out.